challenges that I see a lot of people against a lot of challenges when it comes to education. My name is Ahmed al and this is Monday League. So when you're doing the coaching for the lawyers, mm. you're going to be talking or discussing a lot of things related to their career, but then a lot of career steps or career decisions that uh, happens to be instrumental in someone's life, it will, as I say, affect their life as well. And this will affect their um, uh, stability or life in general and in, in, in their mental as well, uh, readiness, whether they are ready for that step or for that career step or not. And uh, I, I just want to understand whether th this requires a certain set of skills from the lawyer to be able to cope with these kind of changes? Well, the first thing would be to admit that we are we are a whole. A person uh, has different aspects of their life. There's career, there's your personal lives, your friendship, your health, your finances, your spiritual commitments, uh, even, even the amount of fun that you want to have. There are different aspects of a person's life. And it is normal to see a shift in one area of our life that impacts other areas of our lives. A career is very important to most lawyers because that's what we spend, I would say, 80% of our time trying to develop and what we feel is going to nourish other interests and the, and the, and, and the well-being of the people that we care for. Uh, so it is very normal to see a lawyer that is experiencing a significant amount of stress in their career uh, transmit that stress and have certain attitudes in other areas of their lives. However, we also see that when we're trying to work on improving the quality of, not I'm saying not the time, but the quality of time spent in other endeavors other than work, we can also see a shift of how that actually translates in well-being and helps a lawyer be you know, more creative or more social or more enticed and able to cope with the stress that is already there and hasn't changed in a different way. So we can talk about career, we can talk about personal life, but there is there is a, a deep connection between the two of them. I, I totally agree, but I understand as well on like, like how I how I grew up and how I started in this career. It's a very competitive job and it's not just I'm not I'm not just competing with with my colleagues I'm sometimes competing uh or in in with 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 the counterparties in every case so mm -hmm. competing with my client to prove all the time that I'm doing the better work competing with myself to see if I really can achieve what I promised myself to achieve it 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 really affects and I understand that I see some professionals getting a nervous breakdown or something that is really affecting their mental stability because it's really a stressful job. Why is it, are we too weak or vulnerable? Because this is a new trend. This is a new thing, mental health and all this uh, new, um, or I believe it is a new thing. I, I, when I grew up, no one spoke about mental health at all in the professional life why is it so much of a well there are many topics topic that sometimes ago and years ago nobody was talking and now we are talking about and that can also be felt as an evolution in in how actually we are now enabling everybody to be uh, open about the vulnerabilities and be able to address those issues right uh, there was um there was a study done by the international bar association about uh, lawyers and how they perceive their career as it affects their life. And then one out of, I think one out of five are saying that it has a negative impact on their life. If in, a, in, a, in an index, if, you know, 50 is more or less, you know, like the I am worried line for well-being, like lawyers were well below that line. <laughs> Women lawyers were even below uh, minorities and people with disability, they're not having a great time. So we cannot really say as a society that being a lawyer is now where the most fun is being had, okay? But it has always been a stressful um, profession. But maybe now we're talking more about it. Maybe now we're taking uh, note that it doesn't really need to be that way, that there are things that we can do to live our profession in a different way. Now, Yes, a profession has always been stressful, but there are now new stresses and there are now different challenges that our profession did not face before. And as we accommodate to the new era, 
it is normal to to feel this the squeeze of the circumstance okay um in house departments have grown a lot and with that the role of a of a lawyer that is now challenged to be not only technically savvy but very close to business and and be able to do both at the same time and to measure that distance and that diplomacy in in a very dynamic way right um lawyers are now facing new technology coming in there's ai and what's going to happen to all of us right and people that are in our students are in law school now will find a completely different market and completely different profession in five years and all of us that are here today are adapting and learning now the profession of a lawyer has always had adapting and learning in it because regulations were always changing but now regulations change much faster. We are regulating and we're investigating in new areas that we were not doing before. So that adds a stress. This, the wheel is spinning faster than before and it is spinning in directions that we didn't know before. And it is normal to experience more stress than the generations were, stress, they were feeling before. Um, and with that, I think it's a positive thing that we've decided to talk about it. We're not weaker. We're just facing higher challenges and that maybe we're actually becoming emotionally smarter in being able to collaboratively uh, you know lift each other up and you know handle that stress as a community of lawyers in a better way and do you believe that uh, more and more lawyers should ad address this issue by um by, by immediately admitting to coaching or admitting to be more aware of the mental health if, or the, the effect of the profession on their mental health. So they have to um, do, a, I don't know, a checkup. Well, there, there are different ways of support. And I, I would say that, yes, having a, a check-in, not a check-up, but a check-in with yourself and where you're standing as regards to mental health. Uh, lawyers are people that are perfectly able to cope with the normal stresses of life. Uh, they are, and they're looking at their future. They're looking at how they can do better and the challenges that they want to, uh, that, that they want to go and, you know, um, try themselves at, they will be looking more for a mentor or for a coach or for training, but lawyers that are not having a good time in managing their stress, that are feeling the negative impact of their profession, uh, destroy what they've been building and jeopardize that effort may be best suited not for coaching but for uh for a psychologist for psychological aid and it is very very important to talk about coaching in a in a responsible way coaches are specifically at least i am specifically licensed and specifically accredited by an international federation not everybody can call themselves a coach and do that work uh, pro appropriately and coaches are subject to a code of ethics which Oblige them to refer certain issues to a trained mental health specialist. Okay, so it is very important to deal with people that are trained and that will be ethical enough to support that lawyer with what they need if they if that is what they can do, or support them in finding the right professional to assist with their issues if that is what they're actually needing. So there is a, it's a very important uh, issue of ethics in, in coaching, and especially for lawyers. And that's what I thought my particular training as a lawyer and, you know, our ethics code of conduct and membership of bars, you know, makes us, uh, at least uh, there are other coaches that are out there also coaching lawyers, that makes us especially uh, attuned to that, uh, to that specific um, matter. Um. Going back to the school days, law school days mm -hmm. and the education, and you, you did your master's as well and you, you did further studies. Do you think we should have been informed early on that this job is that stressful so that we are ready? Well, I think that exposure to the profession in the, in the early years of our studies is, is key so that you can actually visualize what your life is going to be like. Um, It, it wasn't the case where I study. I think it's the case in, in most uh, universities nowadays to give some sort of exposure so that students may, may shift course or may, may have uh, a most you know, informed decision. Uh, but ultimately, you find out about it with, when, you, when you're in it. And also, as we said, the world is changing and it's going to be a different experience by the time that they, they leave university. 
And the final comment would be, um, no one told us when we were going to become parents what it was going to be like, right? Yeah. And it keeps evolving and we're figuring out and it keeps changing as years goes by. So um, I think that's what we're going to have to keep doing, figuring it out. Thank you very much for this amazing and interesting discussion. I hope uh, more and more uh, people in this uh, legal profession are aware of the effects on their mental health and they are more aware of the how they feel and how they uh, work and uh, more and more people are open to coaching. Thank you. Thank you so much for having it, having me here. And uh, yeah, looking forward to being able to provide support to uh peers and colleagues out there uh, that want to know more about how to uh, how to do more and how to get better. Amazing. Thank you so much. And uh, this is your dose from Monday Legal. See you next week.